What is up, YouTube? This is Villain Gaming here. Um, I wanted to show you guys the easiest way to make money on Escape from Tarkov. Um, once you get to level five, you can go to the flea market and you can buy every single one of these keys. Um, they're they're usually pretty cheap. Um, I mean, I think the most expensive one may be, you know, the marked key, which is what sixty thousand rubles. Um, it's it's super easy and simple. I'm gonna show you guys just what I usually bring. Um, I usually bring a docs case. So if you're brand new to the game, one of these are really, in my opinion, essential to being able to make decent money. Um, a docs case, what it does is you're able to put keys and money inside of the case. Um, so you can put, you know, when you're running the runs and you have these specific keys that I'm about to show you guys, um, you're able to loot all the safes that are in the dorms um, and, and, and all that stuff. So these are the keys that, in my opinion, you are going to need. 100% um, you're going to need a mark key, mark room key, 100%, a factory key. Which is, is good for sometimes, you don't need it all the time, um, but there are times that you spawn on the side where you need to unlock the factory door to get there faster. Um, you need dorm room 114, uh, you need 110, 105, the guard desk key, um, and then you need, I think you need 214, 204, Th these are the ones that I usually have. Um, 214, 218, I think are my two essential ones. So it's it's um, all of those. So let's go ahead and get into this run and I'll show you guys a really good way to do this. Um, I do not run during the day. So the video may be a little eh, dark to see, um, but I will literally show you guys um, the, the way to run there, there's so many ways to run but literally it's it's always to the exact same place and it's always to the exact same rooms um there's no changing it um you could take a you could go hatchet only um but the fact that they made scabs more overpowered to stop hatchlings or hatcheters you know, uh, hatchet runs, whatever you want to call it. Um, they do that. So these scabs are just brutal, just disgustingly brutal. If you have a hatchet and you run up to one, they're just going to blast you in your freaking dome and you're going to go bye bye. Um, so my best bet is to just say, you know, if you're brand new to the game, you get a whole stash of pistols and pistol mags, take one pistol, one mag, and that's it. Um, <clears throat> you know, make sure you shoot the scab in the face. Um, and, and, and hopefully you'll be able to see from this video. Um, most of the time I kill like three or four scabs. I loot their weapons, their bags, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I know I'm in a good spot. I spawned in a really good spot. So I'm going to take my hatchet and I know exactly where I'm going. Um, and we're going to run straight to the three floor, third floor dorm, dorms. Um, so I know, I know it's kind of sketchy, hard to see, um, but it's really simple, really easy, and hopefully I don't get one shot by a scab. Um, but usually most of the time you can loot, you can loot and, and kill the scabs, you know, um. Sometimes there's a scav boss, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't ever live if there's a scav boss up. You know, Maybe there's times where I can run by him or run away from him, um, but 90% of the time, they're going to just do, you completely dunk on you, which is, you know, it sucks, um, but, you know, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, unless you're fully geared going into scav boss, you're going to, you know, you're going to get duped on anyways, but... Um, but I go straight up here. I'll show you guys exactly the run that I always do. People will come in. 
We're back at the dorms right now. Let's hopefully we don't die. Um, we had a fully gear guy completely just destroy us. The scab boss might be down at the bottom, but I'm not sure. But this is the big ticket room, which is the marked room, which is 314, but it's just going to be called marked key. Let's see, do we have anything good in here? A light bulb, a DXML, let's see. But I'm in the middle of something. Kill scab there. Um, and most of the time I'm able to see. Take this stuff off. This Mosin's just insanely big. Take the DXML, D or TXDML, which is probably my it's probably my favorite gun. Come down here. Check my ammo full. Loot this scav, see what he has on him. Keep this gun for later. Uh, this is gonna be th room 303. Another scav. Kill him. Loot this. Come in here, there's only one green box in here. Nothing on that. Check the floor. Let's see. This guy had a way better. Thing. Take that. That. Search his. Take his helmet. RB. That's a key. It's a really good key. So I put it in my. Which is pretty much your docs case that I was just telling you guys about. Um, you can come out here and loot this box right here. But it's... It's kind of... I don't know. It, it's weird to loot it. Because sometimes, you know, obviously there's going to be players that are out there. There's an MP5, which is really good. So, I'm making some decent money on this run. Hopefully we won't get, like, one shot by a scav. Um, but let's see. So, I'm going to go downstairs. Check. Scav right there, kills him. Okay, so this room is going to be room 204. Jump over, straight to the right, open this up. Um, there is this in here, which can have, I, I think, I, I had one that had three Mosins one time, which is insane. Um, but it's going to have rubles, which is 707 rubles. And then this book, this book usually sells for about 30,000 rubles. Um, this is, I'm not worried about that one, that one's not a good one. Uh, let's see. Look at this guy. Okay. I'm not worried about his Vepper. I usually don't like to loot. The door is usually never open, so I'm going to check in here and make sure there's nobody in here. Um, there's three cases right here. Um, but I go down here, usually this is room 218. 218 usually has weapons spawn right here on the ground, right here. Um, sometimes I come over here, loot these jackets. The jackets usually can have keys, um, stuff like that, you know, cabin key. Did I just hear somebody? this you can reload your weapons while you're you're looting it's searching that's a really good suppressor right there you can take that and sell that um, there's another one right here take this I usually don't worry about you know simple things you can sometimes put stuff on your guns like if you find scopes stuff like that um, you can put scopes on like this this gun right here can hold a scope like a red dot or whatever um, stuff like that 
come down here. This is room uh, 214. Unlock this. Make sure there's nobody coming down here. There can be money spawns, which is right here on the bed. That's 800 rubles. Um, not on the ground. So while that's searching, go here. Take that right there. It's 650 more rubles. Check downstairs. I go straight out this door. Straight down. And out into this dorm over here. Um, this also is going to be able to help you with your endurance. Close that door right there. Check down there. Nobody's in here. Guard room key. Or the guard desk key, which is a, a decent key. It usually doesn't have much of crazy stuff. Um, but sometimes, you know, I have an AK in there. Um, which, you know, I could probably make a decent amount of room to take the AK if I really wanted to. But... Hold it there, which is, you know, another 20,000 rubles, somewhat like that. U.S. rounds, I mean, I could take those. There's stuff that spawns on top of this table right here. Um, so, you can come in here to the left, loot this box. You know, any of these boxes could have, you know, M4s or whatever in them. Uh, go down here, take this door right here. This guy right here spawns. Or is in here and you can loot him grab um, you know sometimes he has water gunpowder um, heals you know e even money sometimes um, <clears throat> then you come down here and these two these two right here are good so 110 110 and 114 um, are, are good you know stuff like this a diary which I don't I've never even seen that before is that okay leave that right there I've never seen that before um, so you come in here chain lit euros you can put that in here sometimes I it's kind of light on money right now for some reason I'm not getting a, a lot of money this run but I mean in weapons and stuff there's, there's a uh, computer which can you know obviously spawn um, a graphics card Graphics cards are insane amount of 250,000 rubles that you can sell on the marketplace because people always need those. Euros again. Um, let me reload my weapon. There's a med box. Leave that there. Okay. Um, upstairs, which I'll just show you guys real quick. You know, if you want to loot that right there, you, you can. Let's see. There is a filing cabinet here, which can spawn, you know, Bitcoin and stuff like that. But I don't really worry about these. And you can loot these as well. Okay, so I'm going to go out. What is your Scared the shit out of me. The, these, I'm telling you right now. If you guys think this game is not a jump scare at night time, at night time, you will get some jump scares. There'll be scabs hiding in closets and stuff like that. And man, I'm telling you right now, the, these, these game, this it will scare the daylights out of you at night time. Um, sometimes there's food stuff on the ground, but right here, you want to take these, um, euros, rubles, dollars. I usually just wait, put them all together. That's what, 3,000 rubles right there. Um, so, let's see, what's my crossroads trailer? Okay, so I'm gonna go straight across. If you're feeling like you're up to it and nobody's messing with you, um, you can come in here and loot this cash register right here which is a little bit of extra money you know and everything helps like when you're new and you don't have much money stuff like that um but you have to do that through the back door there is a green weapons case right over here on this camp but i really 
don't ever mess with it because people will, you know, walk across or walk on this um, the wall right here, which is, you know, sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's okay to do it, but I, I usually don't take my chances if I have this big of a haul um, because I know I'm about to make a bunch of money, so I usually don't. You know, risk risk it for the biscuit. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's an extract right down here. You know, I usually turn this corner, check this corner, just in case nobody's like camping in it. Um, this is an extract right here, which is not there. You'll see you'll see a fire, and you can extract right here. Let's see. But while you're doing this, um, you'll get your endurance levels up and everything, so. But when the wipe is coming, like right now, like I'm not, I haven't really been doing these much. I just kind of want to make a video to kind of help players out that are new, that don't have much. This is a really easy way to make a bunch of money. Um, you know, you can, you can go with just an AK or just a pistol and take a scab backpack and loot up like this. And I'll show you guys how much money I'll make after this. Um, I'm really curious to see what that document is going to bring me. I've never seen one, so I don't know what this goes for. It could be for a, a high-end task and stuff like that. I mean, could, uh, who knows? Um, but I know the MP5 probably sells for 20,000 rubles. You know, the AKs. Uh, so, I mean, I'm at least going to make 100,000 plus rubles off this run easily. Um, but, you know, if you do these, sometimes you get, you know, if you're smart enough and you kill a player... Um, I've killed a player that had full night vision on that was super, super geared, um, which is just, you know, unlucky for him, but lucky for me. All right, let's see. How much did I make this time? You know, I killed level 49 Somal. <laughs> Feel bad for that guy in the beginning. Alright, so um, we'll just take everything and sell it just to kind of show you guys what I'm going to make. Um, usually I would keep like this. To take on another run um, with me if I need to. Um, but I'll show you guys real quick everything. Key, I'm gonna just sell that key because I don't need it. Um, I'm curious to see what this diary sells for. This book, let's see. Filter by item. So this 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 thing sells for forty thousand rubles. Um, but you gotta be careful because sometimes you know you can go to the you can go to her and you know it'll sell for you know something you know whatever. Um, so I'm going to sell these, well, it's 59,000 rubles, go to Jaeger, um, so these, that's 58,000, so I'm 100 plus thousand right there, just off of those two few items, um, let's see, 45,000 for that one, 27,000, so 73,000, so almost 200,000 rubles just for those, um, I'm going to keep this just because I want to use it, um, so in all, just from that, which wasn't a huge haul, um, you know, there's obviously th some things like a docs case can drop out of the marked room, which sells for what sells for um, 220,000 rubles. So, you know, you can always get better things um, out of the marked room. Um, so, I mean, I made around 200,000 rubles off that. So I'm going to sell this for, you know, 
39999 add offer boom so i i mean you make profit regardless like if you die and have a crappy backpack and a crappy pistol like okay it's like what you know 30,000 rubles but if you come out with a haul as much as mine like what i just did right there it, it's an insane amount of money so um, if you guys like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, please hit su the sub button. Um, I'm going to try and do some more EFT videos, um, but as of right now, I just don't have a crazy amount of time. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions or maybe want to see a way to make money on different maps. But this is kind of like my money making thing. Um, so if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button. Thank you. Yeah. She's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket I just wanna get her all alone on a